two things. One, I already received replacement for Duke's wheels and this time, surprisingly, it was warranty case 100% covered by Duke. So thanks for them for that, despite the fact it still cost me 300 euros because I asked them to build the wheel. Because, because, because I have Duke Swiss hub in my home, but unfortunately the turnaround time will be too long for upcoming race. Thanks GP Racing, whatever Duke's wheels for sorting it out and Axel in particular from customer support. And the second thing is that because the race is upcoming, I'm still not going to reveal what type of race it's going to be, but for sure I will need new tires and gels and a bit of bike stuff. So I'm going to take the package from some sort of shady delivery point here in Oliva, Spain. The previous place where I picked the package was strange. This one will be <laughs> top level. So I'm going into a woman's clothing shop. It was just the perfect timing that both packages arrived at the same day but if you ever do that in a foreign country be aware that at least in Spain and Portugal they don't call you your number if you are foreign so make sure to direct your shipment into the pickup store and then take that thing from there Why I say that they never ever call you because it's the third time I'm receiving packages. No, fourth time. All the time I've been at home and no one called. Just because you direct your package into the pickup points, not necessarily you will receive them on the first consecutive day. So that's something to be aware of. In case you wonder why the hell I do orders from the shops outside of somewhere, why don't I don't just go to the shop which sells my parts and buy it from Spain well basically because then I know what I'm looking for just easier to order the things instead of spending half a day going through the shops and trying to find whether they have it or not trust me it's not always as easy as it might look like for example in Poland I was not even able to find a while more shops than I tried to do that so yeah, it's not always feasible, it's easier to order online and then pick at the pickup point anywhere you want. And if carrying the packages doesn't look like very complicated, well, just take a look at this from different perspectives. You go out for a walk, nice weather, grab some ice cream, just make sure that your second half doesn't pretend that she's going to help you carrying stuff and then just eat ice cream and nothing else. All right, she's filming. I can't complain too much. <laughs> Order from Air to buy a quick glance what was inside. This motor. There we go, it's the keys. A bit of gels, a bit of drinks, the tires, and I actually bought a new pair of Shimano shoes. Here's a new one. Here's a long one. The cushions are already worn out, not the biggest issue. The biggest issue is like hike the bike, comfort is everything. 
I'm going back to 160 millimeters because I already tested how 180 works at the rear. It's good, but not something I will use for casual races. And done. The moment of truth. Change the decal, nice. So, six wheel crash replacement, which we made for free for the rim. Of course, I had to buy all those other parts in order to have the wheel built fast, but that was my choice, and we will roll with the new race lift. So, that was the shipment delivery pretty smooth experience except the fact that they don't call you by the number. That's it, thanks a lot for the time and we'll meet you in the race very soon.